Level measurement transmitters play an important role in monitoring the fill levels of containers, vessels, or tanks. How does level transmitter measure level? Let's see in this section. There are fundamentally two ways to measure level of a fluid in a vessel, which are, first one is direct level measurement. Second one is inferential level measurement. Float, magnetostrictive, retracting, capacitance, radar, ultrasonic and laser level measurement falls under direct level measurement technique. Differential pressure level measurement comes under inferential level measurement technology. Differential pressure transmitters are versatile and level measurement is just one of the processes where DP transmitters are applicable. Even though there are specialized devices for these measurements today, many field engineers still prefer good old differential pressure transmitter. A differential pressure transmitter is composed of a pressure sensor and a transmitter. The cell has two pressure chambers separated by a diaphragm. We call one chamber the high pressure side and the other the low pressure side. Differential pressure level measurement technique makes use of a differential pressure detector which is installed at the bottom of the tank whose level is to be detected. The liquid inside the tank creates pressure which is comparatively higher than the reference atmospheric pressure. This pressure comparison is performed via the differential pressure detector. Let's see how does a differential pressure transmitter measure level. First we talk about open tank level measurement. In case of open tanks that is tanks which are open to the atmosphere, only high pressure ends of the DP transmitter is needed to be connected to bottom of the tank. And the low pressure end of the DP transmitter is open into the atmosphere. Hence, the differential pressure happens to be the hydrostatic head or weight of the fluid contained in the tank. The highest level detected by the differential pressure transmitter usually depends upon the maximum height of fluid above the transmitter, whereas the lowest level detected is based upon the position where the transmitter is attached to the tank of vessel. We already installed the level transmitter in the tank. So how the transmitter measure the level? The DP level transmitter measure the level based on the Pascal equation for hydrostatic pressure. The equation states that pressure equals the liquid's density times acceleration due to gravity times the liquid column's height. Transmitter only read the hydrostatic pressure from bottom of the tank. For converting to level we have to configure the transmitter to find out zero level and span level. For zero level measurement we have to configure lower range value, LRV. And for span we have to configure upper range value, URV. Commonly we use to find out the hydrostatic pressure act on transmitter is Height of the fluid times specific gravity of fluid Specific gravity is a measure of density relative to the density of a reference substance Reference substance is taken as water Let's look how to find out the LRV and URV of this transmitter So this tank is used for water storage so the specific gravity of water is 1 First we calculate the low range value so the reference height is tapping point of the transmitter and this height we take as 0 mm. As per the equation the LRV equals height times specific gravity. So 0 times 1 that means lower range value is 0. Unit of pressure we take as MMH2O. For URV the take maximum height the tank can fill. Here we assume that 5000 mm. That's why URV equals 5000 times 1. So the URV is 5000 mmH2O. After we configure the transmitter. Let's see how the transmitter read and transmit to the DCS or PLC. At first the tank is empty so there is no pressure. That means 0 mmH2O. So the transmitter send 4 mA to DCS. Because the transmitter signal is 4 to 20 mA. Low value is convert to 4 mA and span will convert to 20 mA. Let's assume the level will raise up to 25% of the tank level. What will happen? The pressure also raised to 25%. That means 1250 mmH2O. Transmitter read the value and convert the signal to 8 mA and send to DCS. 
Let's assume the level will raise up to 50% of the tank level. What will happen? The pressure also raised to 50%. That means 2500 mmH 2O. Transmitter read the value and convert the signal to 12 milliamps and send to DCS. Let's assume the level will raise up to 75% of the tank level. What will happen? The pressure also raised to 75%. That means 3750 mmH 2O. Transmitter read the value and convert the signal to 16 milliamps and send to DCS. Let's assume the level will raise up to 100% of the tank level. What will happen? The pressure also raised to 100%. That means 5000 mmH 2O. Transmitter read the value and convert the signal to 20 milliamps and send to DCS. I hope you all understood about open tank level measurement. How could measure a closed tank level? Let's explain in upcoming lessons. Keep watching.